is the 60th anniversary of Doc Martin's 1460 boot. I want to take a little bit of a journey in the past and discuss these. This is the 30th anniversary Doc Martin 1460. And this is, I guess, one of the only smooth, black smooth pairs that I have that's uh, just a regular black smooth, not collaboration, no pop color that I have that's this old. And the reason that I wanted to go through it is, well, first of all, they're one of my favorites that was ever done. Uh, I'm very fond of the, the line one in a million. And on the side here, um, it does uh, say 30, and then it says 1960 to 1990, and it says one in a million, which I think is awesome. Uh, these in particular came in different widths. This is the wider one, fits me fantastic. Uh, so I think this is a double E, which is interesting. Uh, I don't know if they did the standard uh, widths, all the widths for these, but I remember seeing ones that were D and then I have, and then this double E. I have not had these for 30 years. Uh, I did uh, acquire them pretty recently, but the condition that they were in, you can kind of tell they weren't worn that much. So besides the fact that they're one of my favorite anniversaries, which I think that every 10 year they should just do this staple one. I love that for the 60th anniversary, they're doing remastered collaborations. I think that's cool. Uh, I, I think that's a good way to market collaborations because Doc Martens are always kind of doing collaborations, but then to uh, put them limited to a number, I, I think even makes them even more special. In this world of mass production, what can make something more enticing to get and uh, more enticing and, and also just a, a, better, a better feeling of, of value and worth. You put a number on it. Uh, I, I know for me uh, that, 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 that is definitely something that um, perks up my ears and, and aligns with um, my wallet, I guess. <laughs> so they did one for a 50th. This was the 30th, and I have to say that the sole density on these, you could tell it's pretty dense. You could see the difference between it right away, just like how you can't see through them. But the leather on these, I, I really can't tell the difference. So besides the leather on these being pretty much what you would expect in a pair of modern smooths, the other thing that they did, which was kind of like in the late 80s, I guess early 90s too, is that they used vinyl for the tongue. Now, as a lot of people experienced back in the day in having uh, stiff Doc Martens or even ones now that, are, that might be stiff, uh, here it would kind of poke you until it got a little bit softer. So what they tried is doing this vinyl so that instantly it just kind of fit and it was durable. As you see, I mean, these boots are 30 years old, so this vinyl is just strong. And it doesn't really look much different and it's hidden away. But we can see inside and it's kind of cool looking at the marketing. I love looking at the different marketing. It's like it was just like branded in there, right? See one in a million? Pretty cool, right? These are pretty much the same smooth that you would buy in the store today. The treatment on them is the same. The way that it cracks is the same. And, um, and it's fantastic. I think the only thing that they've changed in that time is, you know, they realized that the shank didn't really do anything with an airwear sole and how it's supposed to flex, especially with the evolution of the current airwear sole, which is even more comfortable. And, 
and then the other thing that they changed uh, was the you know that that the air wear song evolved. I put these laces on just to give it some distinction between other blacks that I have. I I think they kind of give it a little of an antique kind of flair. But this is the 30th anniversary, one in a million, uh, and from from 1990. And if you walked into a store today, uh, I mean. It would be very hard to tell the difference in 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 even in actual parts of of how, uh, of, of construction with these uh, they're pretty much what you would expect to get today and that's and that's fantastic you know even though uh, I would side with modern doc Martens being way more comfortable because of that new soul or not new soul but more less dense more evolved soul and um uh, but here's a, a good a good look into the past. What happened 30 years ago? If you liked the video you just saw or wanted to add something to it, go ahead and uh, click on the like and the comment button uh, down below. Also, if you want to keep up with all the videos that I create, subscribe, and then once you subscribe, you can tap on the bell and then you'll receive an email. Uh, so you're always kind of in the know. I mean, you watched it, right? So I guess you liked it. You got to tell the, you know, algorithms what to show other people and what people are interested in. And besides that, I need validation. I need to know that I'm making something that people actually enjoy and want me to continue making more of, right? What do you think, Cherry? Yeah? Think they should do it? Yeah, she thinks so.